<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and happy tuesday i mean really though can you complain we have a brand new update i'm really excited about it because it kind of came out of nowhere and i really wasn't expecting it also when i just booted up my game i was smacked in the face with this beautiful notification that says is more your color latest update experiment with 1200 new color options for a hundred and fifty 50 objects now if you guys take a closer peek you will see some of the brand new recolors on those objects like we have the base game curtains those look a little more you know colorful these days we also have like the cabinets and i believe the coffee pot there's a couple new um stove swatches also the beds over here curtains and literally so many other things that i could point out but i just simply don't have the patience i want to dive straight on in so we're able to learn more um um, this will open a new window in your default browser. Would you like to proceed? Yes, 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 I would. Once you click on the link, it will take you to another dimension, aka the patch notes for the month of September. Hello, Simmers. We hope this game update finds you well. As summer has ended and the pumpkin spice season starts, you all know I'm ready for my pumpkin spiced coffee. Our team has a treat for Simmers that love to build. If you are not an expert, that's quite all right. I'm not either, but I do enjoy trying a few styles and choices, so no worries in that regard. Thanks again for your continued support. We truly appreciate it. Chaos. I don't know if I said that right. I probably said it wrong, honestly. So what's new? 149 assets, 1,200 variants. 149 assets, 1,200 variants to enjoy so dear. 149 assets. 1200 variants how do we tell you about these easily in pictures in writing in cups of coffee in gameplay in video and pictures and laughter in 149 items 1200 variants how do you measure this new thing we did with this in hand how about you just show yes how about you just show don't measure at all just show our art team took over this game update and they've added about 1200 new variants yes you read me correctly about 1200 variants to 149 base game items in build mode the art team's vision was to complement and enhance these assets so similar have more choices and more use out of them also why not i will list the names of the assets with the images that we've had variants to huge props to sim guru beth for providing these fabulous screenshots in these screenshots you will notice some arrows and green dots those represent the new additions okay enough of me rambling about are you all ready oh my goodness okay so there is a little like spread of some of the assets there's actually more when you scroll down um so you can kind of see that we've actually uh added in or they've added in some brand new wood tones to like the base game coffee tables and chairs which i think they really needed also i do believe like the end tables and even the um little like honeycomb wine racks have had a little bit of a refresh that's actually really exciting because there has been several times where i'll have like um a bunch of base game assets and it's like the one table uh will have a different swatch and then when i try to match it with a similar wood tone swatch it's like not available for the chair or something like that. Um, so that's always really frustrating. I'm really excited to see that things are more consistent. That definitely needed to freaking happen. Also, uh, it has kind of transcended into the bookshelves and things of that nature. We also have some updates on the clocks and the um, little like mirrors. They're kind of basic, super uh, af affordable and inexpensive. Um, another thing that I'm really excited about, oh my God, this needed to happen, was an update on these drapes. I love these drapes, curtains, whatever you call them so much, but I was kind of getting a little bored of just the basic weird patterns on them. This definitely, uh, definitely makes them a little more versatile in my personal opinion. So I'm really excited to play with these. I definitely need, need to do like um, a base game build or something along those lines so if you wanted to take a moment to read like every single item's name just to kind of get an idea of what has been updated feel free to do that um we're moving on to the second picture here where we actually have some of the more i wouldn't say industrial but maybe more contemporary assets they have been updated um so you guys will notice like the trash cans the coffee mug holders also the little i forgot what this is called <laughs> it's like a music player something along those lines this bed is 
has a couple new variants in it, which is greatly appreciated because I actually really like this bed a lot. Um, I think I'm using this in my current household. I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaking, I might be mistaking. I can't even say the word mistaking, so I probably am, but really excited about that. Um, this little wall clutter set also has a little bit of a new look. The shelves, I think this is like a key. I'm not 100% sure. The towels, the contemporary book racks, they've all um, kind of been updated. So if you guys want to go ahead and read off what, what has received um, an upgrade, go for it. Uh, also, now we're kind of moving into like the kitchen appliances, which is really neat. Um, they've obviously, you know, uh, incorporated the rainbow in this. But if you can kind of take a look over here, you'll notice uh, we have a red stove now, just a basic red stove. This is really going to open up um, so many possibilities to builders and especially people who only have access to the base game. This is going to make things so much more lively and super inclusive, which is really exciting because, like I said, sometimes building with the base game is frustrating because <laughs> colors don't match. Um, so, yeah, that's a quick little peek of some of the kitchen assets over here it appears that we've also got a refresh right on the um curtains from the base game another asset i've always kind of loved but felt very limited to uh especially because a lot of these are like patterns there's like one solid and the rest have like these cartoony prints so they've gone ahead and added in um i do believe they've added in just a bunch of solids right and this little piece right here is like super translucent and sheer which is also really nice apparently um the action figures <laughs> have gotten a little bit of an update when it comes to their color story i do believe the science table has also received a revision as a well well, moving down to the chest table. Thank goodness gracious. Booties bodacious bouncing all over the places. I am so freaking excited about this because oh my god, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm. I felt so sad by these swatches. There's like three. Okay, so now chest tables can be incorporated more into my game without kind of sticking out like a sore thumb because I don't really use those for that reason. Um, and then over here, I'm not sure if I'm seeing curtains on the wall, but I'm also seeing some brand new base game flooring, which is really exciting. I wonder if this has been um, updated for the carpets as well, because again, <laughs> the sim gods know that it's been needed. All right, so here is all of those um, names. If you're interested, it appears that maybe there's been something done to these counters, like more swatches, I do believe, to the contemporary counters. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. I use these all the time. It literally took me five minutes to realize that, oh, my God, this is the counter that literally makes my hair turn gray. I'm excited. Look at that. It's beautiful. I was not expecting this. I could literally burp out of excitement. <clears throat> there I did it. <laughs> would you would you peep the base game counters? Oh, my God. You've got to be joking. Like, these look so good. What the hell? They've been sleeping on us, dude. Like, seriously, I've wanted to use these so many times, but I feel like the only counter that's really versatile um, in a lot of my builds is this one right here um, with like the, the 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 brown, light brown and brown. You know what I'm saying, right? OK, cool. So it actually extends into garden items, too. Um, I think these might be new. They look new or maybe they're just in game and I haven't really paid much attention to them. But we get a bunch of new planters, which is so fun and exciting. I am definitely doing a base game build this week. Mark my freaking words. And then we have um, a bunch of just regular like plants that have had like the plants with the flowers that have had um, an updated uh, color story as well. I mean, you guys got eyes, you can see, but it's kind of fun to point this stuff out. I do believe we also have some brand new, uh, what is it called? Like brick, brick stone walls. There we go. Got it. And these little like topiary thingies. I forgot what they're called. I really did. I know what they are in my head. I just, it just won't come out, but they've also got in a swatch update too. So that's really exciting. Um, let's see. Oh my God. They aren't playing. Oh, they did not come to play. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, a bunch of windows have received an update. Thank God, because this was literally the source of my frustration. And so many summers, I'm sure, experienced the stress. But look at this. Would you just look for a freaking second? So I can't tell you exactly what's been done because a lot has been accomplished here. But we have received so many brand new color variations to the base game windows and stuff. And so that's really exciting as well. Um, it does appear that there have been some um, bug fixes, which is fantastic. 
But also, we have received some brand new create a sim assets that we're gonna go ahead and check out right now. Okay, so here we are in cast. I wanted to go and gather a little more insight around the assets just for context. And I ended up actually coming across this article um, from the Sims community. And basically, it says here, the Sims team has left out a very important part of today's patch for the Sims 4 on a PC and console. There are new clothing pieces and hairstyles that have been added for both masculine and feminine fashion choices. There's also a brand new henna tattoo included as well. These pieces are inspired to accompany the upcoming two kits, Fashion Street and Inshallah Arrivals. Uh, worry not as they are free additions to The Sims 4. I'm so excited. Don't you just love when the game disables all your mods and everything looks so naked? Anyways, we are here with my Sim, Tina Crawwell. She's actually from my current household. She is Donna's not so best friend. Um, one thing I did notice right off the bat is that the gallery icon has changed. We now have like a little heart with a light bulb um, surrounding it, very interestingly enough. Uh, but let's just go ahead and kick off this little showcase with the hairs. Um, so these are the hairs right here. They come in all of the brand new updated colors as one would expect. Now, the thing about this hair is, and I feel like all of these assets are around Korean fashion, which I find really awesome that they are adding in more diversity with every update. It's been very appreciated. Last time, I do believe it was like the um, update had some like Moroccan outfits to it. That was really cool. So there's like a quick little glimpse of some of the swatches for this hair. I actually saw a simmer posting about it. I think it was Eliandra. And I was like, what? wait, where did you find that in game? And then I realized, oh, hello, there was an update. And I'm going to be honest, I thought this was custom content because it was just so damn good. Um, but this hair is super pretty i love the like middle part and the like wispy long layered bang super gorgeous it's not really bulky either which is very appreciated it's honestly kind of perfect and then um we have another hair here that could be quote unquote masculine but i'm actually really excited to see that it is perfect perfect <laughs> it's perfect y'all it is perfect on the feminine frame i'm so excited for this one and then the last hair we have here actually has like a nice um curl to it which is really pretty i love the like the high top um to it and then also it kind of like has like this very subtle like fade as it goes into the um sideburns there so for the actual outfit right i think females get two outfits and an accessory there's also a tattoo to share too so there's definitely a nice little you know collage of assets being thrown into this update as well as all of the brand new colors watches um so for this outfit here it's a full body all of these are going to be full body um but it has like this little blouse that kind of like ties on the side as well as complementing pants there's a couple different watches in here not very many for such a beautiful asset i would have loved to have seen more um i have to like kind of play around with what shoes go best but right now i just have like some base game sandals kind of uh work in their magic we're actually just kidding <laughs> these are from get together but they look kind of nice i'm pretty sure there's like some base game shoe in here that you could definitely throw on this outfit to kind of pull it all together um for the second outfit here we actually have what appears to be um again going back to that korean inspired um inclusion i don't know what this piece of clothing would actually be called so if you know if there is a name please let me know in the comments down below i'm always open to educating myself so we got a couple swatches for this as well and to let me tell you the beauty of this piece is literally outstanding it is seriously so freaking gorgeous um i'm really excited to play around and make some sims you know what i mean all right so let's check out this thing that's kind of wrapped around her arm um again this could be a part of korean culture i'm not sure what it is uh but it appears to be some form of bracelet or like maybe like uh, I wouldn't say rosary beads, but possibly, I don't know. Um, if we go in to the fingernails, we can actually see it up close and personal. It's really pretty. I love this piece, actually. All right, so we're going to bump out here really quick. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there is a tattoo or like a henna 
Um, and this one is gonna be uh, kind of in the hand category. Um, thank God they've actually added in the whole fingernail swatch thing, because now I can like get really up close and personal and kind of show you guys the detail. But isn't that beautiful? And it comes in a few different swatches. I know I went through it really fast. I didn't like take my time to actually show you guys, but um, it does come in a couple, a couple swatches. So we have like a black swatch, a gold swatch. We've got green, um, white, and even like a caramel um, henna as well. And then moving on to the male assets, right? We have, um, I think, basically just two outfits to share with you. So you already saw like the hairs. I love the fact that all three of these hairs, all three are available for the males because I actually feel like these are very, very, very um, gender inclusive. It doesn't matter. So these are super beautiful. I love, 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 love these hairs. Um, so for the outfits, let's just bump back a little bit. Um, this is the second outfit. It kind of reminds me of the female outfit a little bit. It has like the um, tie in the front. It also has some pockets, some ruching on the sleeves. I love the slacks on this. Again, I think this all kind of goes back to the um, Korean culture or fashion. Again, I don't mound, I don't mean to sound stupid if I do. I, I mean no harm, I swear. Because <laughs> some people probably would think I'm being insensitive, but I genuinely don't know everything there is to know around Korean fashion. So again, educate me. Let me know the history behind these assets. Like I'm, 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 the more the the more knowledge the better you know what i'm saying so then we have this outfit too as well that has like a vest and a very long shirt underneath it same kind of slacks actually and then there's a, a couple variants with a little bit of pattern there and also some some texture on the fabric which i thought was really cool i did use the moroccan slippers that came with the last update just to kind of throw it all together it's base game friendly i thought it worked um but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I know of for Create a Sim. Um, I'm really excited, like I said, to make some base game sims while I'm updating all my mods. Um, so look forward to that on the gallery at Jen2606. But you know what else I'm dying to do? I just want to check out a few, a few of those new swatches and build by. I apologize. This looks so freaking rough. You're like, Jen, what in the freaking swap me is going on here? Probably more like yard sale. Anyway, it is very cloudy in my game. Always is. Don't have any mods to fix it. But I just wanted to pull out a couple items that have received updated color swatches to check out. Not all of them because literally there's like a 1200 brand new um, swatches and that has been spread over 140 items. If you guys watched the beginning of my video where we went over the patch notes and you already got a general idea of what is going to be included, ma'am. All right, so we're going to dive straight on in to the little science table. I'm not exactly sure what color have been added but there is a little pan and you guys can probably point those out a lot better than I can the infamous the infamous chess tables I can I can't even okay let me let me correct myself I can't even tell you how many times I have steered away from using one of these bad boys because it simply doesn't match my build that was the thing that always kind of struck me as odd with the base game assets is that okay you would have all of these wood tone swatches but then there would be just that one that clearly belonged to the set that didn't match I never understood that it's like they purposely wanted me to freaking pull my eyelashes out I'm I just I don't get it so these cabin cabin um, slats have been also updated I actually might use these now and then we have another drape I guess that also has gotten a little bit of a makeover. I was really excited about that. I feel like personally I'm going to be so more inclined or much more inclined to use these items now that they are a lot more like compatible. How about you? Anybody else feeling that way? So this gorgeous dining table I know was like very limited. Okay. And so was this one when it came to the wood tones and I never understood it all as well as the coffee table, which I don't actually have um, laid down. I was more intrigued by these tables than I was that, but this little console table also, I use this a lot by the way, um, has had a refresh, the bottle holder, which is exciting. I feel like I'm going to use this a lot more now. The base game chairs. I think everybody and their mother has probably used one of these at least once upon a time. Of course, the base game, you know, end table. And then this cute little bookshelf that I actually am really excited for. Now, I wish they would have added in some color tones because this would have made it so much more uh, perfect for children's rooms and things like that. Like, you know what I mean? I wish. I wish they would have done that. Um, this little towel rack too. Little, you know, a little bit of a reflush. She's coming in hot. She's flexing the muscles. She looks good. She knows it. And then same thing goes for this little mirror. I use this literally all the time. Uh, this clock, I'm obsessed, but I always felt really bad because it had like 
three swatches <laughs> and I would use it all the time. Um, let's talk about some curtains. These to me are probably the most exciting thing as you can obviously you see they come in a beautiful like rainbow spectrum the same thing kind of goes for these children blinds they've also been kind of upgraded to a much more flattering form i'm actually really excited about this black swatch oof my goodness and then we have the um a version that kind of looks like that old uh rainbow zebra candy does anybody know what i'm talking about or am i like showing my age right now you're probably gonna google it and be like oh, jen's a tortoise She's a dinosaur. Okay, anyways, here we go. We're moving on. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna forget that ever happened um, Yeah, you kind of get the general idea like I said I don't think I need to share all of them with you because I would pff, wouldn't even know what I was doing um, But yeah, you can kind of get the general idea that everything is just a little more consistent uh, So we did get a upgrade on these six floors so I don't know what's been changed here. Just maybe some more color swatches, which also makes life a lot easier. These slats, I use these all the time and I'm so excited because I know for a fact that's brand new and I'm sorry, that's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, and then the fine, I think forest fine flooring too. Also, like I know this is gonna look so good and like modern apartment bills. Like this is literally on trend for apartments in my area right now. That's insane. Um, um, what else do we have? We have the EcoCraft hardwood flooring. So, hello, refresher. I love it. I think they just added in like gray tones. I don't really know what the big the big deal is about that, but other than the fact that um, it looks good. But yeah, so there's just like a general idea. And then we have like the herringbone um, swatch here. I feel like it's just gray. Maybe like another dark brown or something that they've done, but I don't honestly know. Um, moving into the kitchen, we have a couple a couple things that have been also um, given the old spritz. Unfortunately, this <laughs> I want to I just want to cry. Um, <laughs> the refrigerator hasn't been upgraded because um, I'm sorry. How freaking cute would that have been to have a matching refrigerator with this beautiful? brand new red stove that that was well, not new but it's an upgraded you know what i mean or recolored version i guess that would have been awesome i don't know why they didn't think about that but that's okay we're gonna move on um we get a couple new swatches for the uh stove here i really want to say it's like one brand new swatch honestly um counters hello beautiful how are you doing oh my god it's so nice to meet you finally i feel like we've known each other for so long, but would now just be an introduce. Same thing kind of goes for this beautiful. Just let me pull her out of the dark for a second because she needs her own debut. This beautiful industrial counter. Like, I'm not going to go through every swatch, but you all can just appreciate her and her glory. Look at the look at the ground sparkle. She's just too beautiful. Coffee pot, I think, had a new upgrade in here. I'd be lying if I knew what it was, um, honestly. And then the same thing goes for this one. I think we just got a black swatch. But yeah, you guys, how exciting, how exciting, how exciting. It honestly blows my mind. Of... It honestly blows my... Okay. It honestly blows my mind. I'm sorry. I tried to record that so many times. And my mind is going in the gutter. It blows. Okay, you know what? Okay, honestly, I'm a little, I'm a little like, wow, you're really impressed by some damn colors watches. You know what? When you have been deprived for as long as we have, okay, something as simple as a blue curtain and matching base game furniture can really put a little extra pep in your step. So I'm excited. But of course, I want to know, how are you feeling? Let me know in the comments down below. What else do you think needs to be updated in terms of swatches? I already can tell you guys this needs to be done. Oh, and I forgot to tell you. I think we got like an extra little swatch Sharuni, um, on the uh, good old base game waste basket. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I'm very tempted to leave Tina in this mess and let her clean it up. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, base game update showcase. If you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below with the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time.